<laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I can't tell you what a thrill it is for me to come here tonight. <laughs> uh, can I explain? We have an arrangement here. The one nearest the microphone speaks. Uh, but you're okay. You, you just have a good time. You just keep shouting out as much as you like. Make a noise, because then the bouncers will know where you are. Uh, and I want it to be a great night. I really do, because I went to the producer. I said, listen, I want to know the kind of people I'm working to. I mean, tell me about the audience broken down by age and sex. And he said, they are. Because uh, I wanted to make it a great week for me, because I haven't had the best of weeks. Uh, I mean... Yeah, I know, it's awful. Like, the other night I went to uh, uh, the Amnesia Sufferers Rally. Yeah. <laughs> Pardon. <laughs> no, it's amnesia, not deafness. <laughs> it's astonishing, isn't it? 50 million pounds a year this country spends on education. Poor sod there, never had a penny. <laughs> so, I went... I went to the Amnesia Sufferers Rally. The speaker got up, he said, what do we want? They said, action. He said, and when do we want it? They said, what? <laughs> Tuesday was a bad day. Uh, I was invited to be the celebrity judge at, uh, for people who had unusual pets. Uh, an Irish fellow won it with a tin of salmon. Uh, <laughs> Wednesday was worse. I bought a buck rabbit and found out it was gay and allergic to lettuce. <laughs> you can always find out when you're going to have a bad day. It's like when you wake up and your water bed's broken and your pyjamas are soaked and then you realise you haven't got a water bed. Or, <laughs> or if you're a woman, you can always tell if you're going to have a bad day because you wake up and you put your bra on back to front <laughs> and it fits. <laughs> Today, today, today was a bad day, right? I drove down to do the show. And it's a delight to be here, I must tell you that. I mean, it's the first time I've worked in a sheep dip. And, and, so let me tell you, I arrive in London, come and do the show, right? And people here are pretty strange to Northerners. Like, I park the car outside, and this kid walked up. He said, uh, Lenny Bennett? I said, yes. He said, I'll look after your car for a tenner. I said, you don't need to. I've got a Rottweiler in the back. He said, oh, it puts fires out, does it? And... <laughs> So I went back to check before the show. The car's gone, but the Rottweiler's on four bricks. And... <laughs> so I come, I come into here, right? It's true. I, I come into here, there's a guy outside, try to mug me. He said, give me your money. I said, I'm giving you nothing. He said, give me your money. I said, I'm not giving you a penny, and you don't know who you're dealing with. He said, what are you talking about? I said, I happen to be a black belt in origami. <laughs> And he started laughing. <laughs> but he wasn't laughing when I folded him into a swan. <laughs> and, uh... <laughs> but the great thing about being in London, it is, it is the centre of medical expertise. You want to get cured, you come to London, to, to Harley Street. And a friend of mine, his missus said to him, would you love me more if I had a bigger bust? He said, no, darling, I love you as you are, as you are now. You're, you're perfect. She said, tell the truth. Would you like me to have a bigger bust? He said, well, if you're thinking about it, I do know... <laughs> oh, just a minute, Fanny Fried Eggs down here has got something to say. Uh, he said, I happen to know that if you go and see Dr. Johnson in Harley Street, he'll be able to help you. So off she went into Harley Street, Dr. Johnson, he said, it's all a question of mind over matter. He said, what I want you to do if you want a bigger bust is to recite this every day without fail. Say to yourself, Mary had a little lamb. Its feet were white as snow. I must recite this every day and make my boobies grow. So she did it for six solid weeks. Then one morning she's going to work. She's at the bus stop. She's, I haven't done it, I've forgotten. The treatment's gonna go all wrong. I'll just have to do it. So she stood at the bus stop and she went, Mary had a little lamb, feet are white as snow. I must recite this every day, make my boobies grow. And the fellow next to her said, I see you're one of Dr. Johnson's patients then. <laughs> she said, how do you know that? He said, hickory dickory dock. <laughs> <laughs> 